Liposuction probably is the wrong name. It's supposed to be a liposculpture because liposuction implies that you can take any amount of fat you would like. Liposculpture is only to contour the body. Liposuction or liposculpture is not an operation to reduce weight. If any patient wanted to reduce their weight, they have the wrong treatment. So liposculpture is better to consider an area where you have a prominent part and you go in and take only the fat from this area. It's usually done through a small tiny hole where we can inject some fluid first of all to soften the fat and also it contains some painkiller and then with a tube you go in and you take the fat away. This operation is always done under general anesthetic however in tiny area like the neck or the chin it can be done under local anesthetic. It can be done as a day case or even one night stay. Again, I insist that all my patients after this operation wear a very tight pressure garment to reduce the swelling and the bruises. One of the problems of this operation is that patient after the operation will look very bruised. But it usually, within 72 hours, it settles down and the results st start to become more obvious. The swelling takes a bit longer, may take in some patients a few weeks before it settles down completely. It is important for any patient who would like to have liposuction to make sure that their weight is steady before the operation um, because when weight go up or down they may not benefit from this operation. Patients need to be healthy and their body mass index which is a relation between their height and weight within acceptable range and not very high. As I mentioned, if you have an area where you would like to reduce the fat, you do a small tiny hole. This hole is, a, is probably about six millimeter long, so it's very, very tiny. And you go in, inject some fluid, and through a tiny, tiny cannula, you go in and suck the fat. There is a lot of way of doing them. Some of the machines have some power, so it helps the surgeon to make it quicker. And some of them, it's manual. I don't think there is any difference between the two. What's important is to choose the right patient and have the right operation. Liposuction is an operation do contain risk. Some of them because you have a general anesthetic and some of them because of the operation itself. The most likely expected outcome is bruises and swelling. Bruises will last between three to seven days. Swelling will last up to a few weeks. Infection could be a risk. It's very, very rare, but is a possibility. In the first night after the operation, patient may find that there is some fluid oozing out of the wound, but this is only temporary and it usually stops within a few hours. Overlying the area of liposuction, they have an area which does not have too much sensation, but usually return back very quickly within a few weeks. They have very tiny scar. You will hardly see the scar on the long term. Especially when you do two thigh or two flanks area, there is sometimes you find some asymmetry between the two. But this asymmetry is very little. But if you see the patient before, you may find that they don't have symmetry before they start. One of the things that patients sometimes find after this operation that they have some um, pebbly surface where they have liposuction. We always say it's contour irregularity. It happened because of the technique itself. It's a blind technique where you go in with a cannula and take some fat, but you have to leave some fat cells behind and sometimes it feels slightly pebbly. It's not very common, but it's more common in area where there is thin skin. So for example, the inner aspect of the thigh can be very obvious that you have liposuction, while other area is less obvious. There is a risk of 10 to 15 percent to have this to happen. Uh, some of them you feel them and some of them you can even see them and unfortunately they are not easy to solve.